Good afternoon, Jason here, Birchfield Family Farm, Oxford, Ohio. Gorgeous day here, sunshine. Pretty chilly though, uh, still freezing at night. Last night was chilly, low, low mid 20s. Out here today with the sheep and uh, been wanting to do a video for a while on working with St. Croix Rams. And uh, I was just out here and um, our big guy Fritz, uh, he just headbutted me in the rear end and knocked me over. I thought, you know what, today's the day. Let's uh, do a video on tips on working Rams. Uh, and many of these tips I'm gonna give, I just violated, which is why I took one to the, the backside. Say hi, Fritzy. This is Fritz and Sonny. There's Fritz. Hey, buddy. Yep, I was trying to mess with one of his ladies to check her bag and see uh, how we're looking pregnancy-wise, and he did not uh, did not like that and let me have it, which leads me into my first tip that I violated. Never turn your back on the ram. Never. And I had done that. I was right down here uh, at the fence checking her. And uh, I knew it. I knew it. I just thought I could I could squeeze it in before he would get me. And uh, it's not the case. So number one, never turn your back on the ram. He's about 150, 150 plus pounds now. You can see when he goes back like that, that means, usually means he's gonna, he's gonna charge. That time he did not. So when he does that, one thing I've found that's effective is to walk towards him. Um, the other thing that I like to do, and this is tip number two, carry a spray bottle. You, not that we've done this, but you could, you could knock him over the head with any kind of number of things. We, again, we don't, we don't do that, uh, but you could, and it would not face him. He would, he would continue to come at you. There, here he goes. Now see, he saw the spray bottle. He saw the spray bottle and, um, I do not use vinegar. I think that's kind of cruel to, to sting their eyes. I don't, I'm not into that. Um, but he knows with the water, he does not like that at all. One of the other things we've learned too um, with our roosters as well as uh, the ram here, I pretty much, you know, maybe you could say any male animal, the absolute worst thing you can do, well, maybe the worst thing you can do is stand there and get, get head butted or pecked. Uh, but I think a really close, and yeah, maybe worse than that is, uh, running uh you know i mean you can youtube the people running uh from roosters i mean just running from the ram any kind of male and when you run you're going to empower them you know i understand there's a place for trying to get away and not get hurt i mean i get that but like be prepared you know going in a rooster just bend down and pick them up by the feet and turn them upside down they'll they'll go calm uh, the worst thing you can do is, is run is run the uh <clears throat> the other thing too uh to keep an eye out for uh is not just a front headbutt but when we've been uh working with him from the side we'll kind of um have him in a halter maybe or just be walking him or have him restrained and we'll be on the side He'll take his head and do one of these numbers from, from the side. He's, he's nailed me uh, before uh, from the side like that. It's uh, fascinating. It's a move we call uh, the wrecking ball. So uh, that, head, that head is just, you just would not believe how hard the head is. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you take a front shot or a, a wrecking ball from the side. Uh, <laughs> It's gonna hurt. So tip two is always carry a spray bottle. And that leads me into tip number three, which I violated. T 
today, which is when you're working with the Rams, have somebody else. Have somebody else there with you. Um, I've seen these videos online. I saw one of an old guy uh, the other day. It looked like some kind of security camera, I don't know, that had caught him. Um, yeah, I'm trying to keep an eye out here because he's eyeing me. But again, spray bottle, so we're good. Um, and this guy, this guy got pummeled. Uh, he was out there working, working his flock alone and uh, must have turned his back, done something, and the ram got him and knocked him down. And when they, that's the other thing, when they knock you down, um, they're not going to stop. They're going to just keep coming. Backing up, bam, backing up, bam. And this guy, I mean, he ended up, oh, I, uh, I scrolled on because it was bad, bad, bad. He ended up bloody and he was down and, oh. I don't know how it ended up, but just, you know, work. If you got the option, work with somebody else. Um, if not, you know, be smart. Carry a spray bottle. Um, and then the last tip, I can't remember where we're at. Is this three, four, whatever? Uh, never pet them on the head. Never pet them on the head. We made this mistake um, early on and, uh, you know, thought that... Uh, we could kind of domesticate our sheep and they would be easier to work, right? If we, I mean, it makes logical sense, you think about it. Uh, so we started working with him a lot. And, you know, one of the things was just pet him on the head. I mean, we get that from, uh, you know, dogs and just, you know, showing affection and, the, you know, the, but I tell you, what that does is it, it puts you in the competitor realm then when you, you may be okay when you get with him when he's by himself or you've got him isolated but when you get in with him when he's with the ewes then you're your competition you're a competitor and he's going to start in the other thing we've noticed and i don't know why this is but it's whenever it seems like something's moving uh, whenever something's moving he's going to come and hit it so we've had uh, times where we'll take a cart you know through the the uh, area where he's in and he comes and just pummels the cart the metal cart just nails it and then just keeps coming right until he flips it or you know uh whatever it's just bizarre it's the only thing i can really kind of compare it to is like a lineman you know lineman they just gotta gotta hit something just get it out you know and that's just that i don't know whatever testosterone whatever you want to call it but anyway don't if you can not pet their heads and not try and domesticate them um it will help and i i don't know Having done this for three or four years now, I, I don't think I really want my sheep domesticated anyway. I want them to to be a little afraid of me so that I can move them to different different places. So I don't, you know, it's uh, just the, you know, that personification of uh, animals and the domestication. And, and there's just a big difference when you're, you're talking livestock animals um, versus, uh, you know, pets at home. Um, so... You know, those are kind of my tips. Um, never turn your back, carry a spray bottle, um, you know, work with somebody else uh, when you can, and uh, don't, don't pet the ram's head. Um, don't, don't attempt to uh, domesticate him or show him affection in that way. So those are my kind of four tips. Uh, if you work with sheep or rams, um, and you have additional insights, you know, leave a comment. Tell us about it and uh, get some interaction going. I uh, hope you guys are having a great day and uh, have a great week this week. Take care. Come on, you want to go, buddy? Funny? <laughs> oh, Fritzy, Fritzy boy. You wanna try again? Here he comes. <laughs> All right, let's try this with the spray bottle now. Yep, see, nothing, he's gone. Does not like that water at all.
you've heard that phrase, uh, stupid should hurt. Well, on the farm it does. Wish me luck uh, trying to walk tomorrow.